In our environment, the consequences of an avalanche are actually quite great in that you get caught, you travel in the avalanche, and it doesn't run out into a nice uh, open snow slope that often. There are boulders, there are cliffs. You get buried in a, a significant amount of snow, and no matter what equipment you've got, it won't actually help you. Formed by a complex range of conditions, some avalanches are unpredictable, but the vast majority of accidents could be prevented through a basic understanding of the mountain landscape. The Adventure Show has been given an exclusive preview of how it works. We felt there needed to be some guidance for people because we were having a lot of people being avalanched. There was an impression that the mountains that we have in Scotland, there was no real avalanche hazard. So it was really quite important for us to get together and identify what are the key things that people need to know. Often what you see is not really what you're going to get. But 80% of your hazard evaluation is done before you even go into the mountains. And the winter, it's a story. You need to know well, what's happened last week, what happened the month before. Because it is so complex, we need really to start gathering information well in advance. And the info in here is things that you need to consider in those planning phases. While mainly designed for use before the trip, this app also includes a number of tools to help out in the hills. There are some really good tools that help you once you're in place. One is the angle of the slope, and that's really important to know because most avalanches that are triggered are on slopes of 35 degrees. So if we have some tool to measure it, that'll help us in determining whether to go onto a slope or not. So I just look up here through the slope, up the slope to the top, and the angle changes. And I've got 18, it's 20 degrees, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 33, 34, 35, exactly 35 degrees it is to the top of that slope. So this is a prime slope, if you like, for triggering avalanches, if the slope had instabilities within it. The other tool is the hazard tool. One thing that people have difficulty with is saying, well, what is the slope aspect? Using this slope aspect hazard tool, I've got the map here, and I've got my ears a blue dot, which shows me in the landscape and I can see all the angles of the slopes and so on. I'll turn on the hazard rows and that will be superimposed in this landscape. Of course it is all low hazard at the minute, it's all green, but I could clearly see in relation to where I am now where it might be a considerable hazard or a moderate hazard. And it would help me avoid those places where the hazardous slopes may be. People have ideas that, you know, snow is light and fluffy and so on. But actually, the weight of the snow, once it's avalanched, it's close to almost half a ton per cubic meter. So you have no chance in an avalanche. People talk about swimming to the surface or rolling around, but I was avalanched maybe 20, 30 years ago. The thing I recall most is the speed, the absolute speed at which it travels. And you know, it, it's a total shock and surprise. And in, in moments you could be, you know, hundreds and hundreds of meters further down the hill. So it's absolutely about not getting avalanched in the first place. This app, developed by the Scottish Avalanche Information Service, should be available from the beginning of December and will surely become an essential piece of kit for the winter. To find out more about it and all our other Adventure Show news, follow us on Facebook.